Nvidia recently added a brand new option to the Nvidia app to fully overclock your GeForce GPU for a maximum amount of FPS boost, meaning from now on, you do not need to use any additional programs like MSI Afterburner to overclock your GPU, you can do it straight from the Nvidia application itself. Before we start, I want to give full credit to Kovai for the motivation behind this video, I will I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description, so go ahead and check him out also guys. Alright guys, so let me show you how to actually apply this setting. The first thing that we need to do obviously is download the NVIDIA app. So basically, how to download the NVIDIA app is just simply type in NVIDIA app right here. And I'll go over here on download the NVIDIA app, it should be the first thing. The one thing I want to make sure that you guys already know is that the NVIDIA app only works for people that have GeForce GPUs. So if you don't have a GeForce GPU, I'm sorry, but it's just gonna, not gonna work for you. You may click off this video right now. Uh, if you guys are aware that you have a GeForce GPU, what you need to do is click over here on download beta and uh, it should take you around five to 10 minutes to download it depending on how fast your internet connection really is. All right guys, so now that you download the NVIDIA app, what you need to do right now is as you guys can see, you could just firstly tell that it just really looks like GeForce experience. So one thing you guys always need to be aware of is that you always download your drivers. So what I really like about the NVIDIA app is that apart from the GeForce experience, you see what's new. Like you literally have a whole ass session to see what's new when you uh, download the newest drivers. Okay, so that is off topic. I literally have a full video on that. You guys can go ahead and check that out. So, so let me show you how to actually overclock your GPU. The first thing you need to do is go over here on settings. But firstly, go over here on uh, system and go over here on performance if this you guys don't see this then you should go over here on settings go here on uh, about and make sure you enable opt-in to receive access to early builds and once you guys are done with that just simply close the application and run it back again all right boys so now that you have the system uh this system icon right here it should be like a pc and a monitor so go over here on performance and as you guys can see this is where you overclock your GPU. What you need to do right now is just simply like enable this button, okay? As you guys can see, there is a disclaimer. Warning, turn your GPU or changing performance limits may cause your PC to show visual artistic ads. Your PC may become unstable. So go ahead and click on agree and continue. And uh, you should be able to see a little window. Just click on yes. Nvidia also said that this should be it should take you around 10 to 20 minutes. All right guys, so now that you're done with that, and if you want additional performance, what you need to do is click over here on graphics and uh, go over here on global settings. So basically guys, uh, these are the best uh, settings in my opinion. You can also go ahead and experiment with them. So RTX Dynamic Vibrance, this is completely up to you. This does not affect your FPS in any way. It just makes your game a little bit more vibrant. And in my opinion, it looks really, really better. So COD GPUs, this is basically if you have uh, like multiple GPUs. So DSR factors, make sure that is on off. Image scaling, make sure that is on off. Low latency mode, I have that on on. And uh, you can also try with off. Just experiment what's best for you because what's best for me might not be what's best for you. Max frame rate, max frame rate I have this on off. Power management uh, mode, it should be yours should be set to default which is optimal power so go ahead and select perform maximum performance share the case size i would uh, i would really not mess with this if i were you i'll just leave it on default right here vertical sync i'll just leave it on off virtual reality i'll just leave it on off okay guys so this is pretty much from the nvidia app so i don't want to leave you guys like that i want to give you a couple of tips to actually boost your fps so what you need to do is go over here on this little search icon and just type in display settings so <clears throat> once you guys are here if you don't have a windows 11 i'm not sure how you would be able to keep up but have a windows 11 so go over here on graphics okay and the first thing you need to do is go over here on change default graphic settings how to accelerate gpu scheduling make sure to turn this on on and as you guys can see it already says what it does to the pc reduce latency and improve performance you need to restart your pc when you actually enable this but go ahead and enable the two of them right here the two options and just um wait actually don't restart your pc yet because we do have a little one little tip i want to show you also so what you need to do right now is go over here on browse and you want to actually locate your fortnite client dash exe dash um shipping exe like yeah it was something like that so once you guys have located it it should be right here for me and uh, what you need to do is go over here on options and select high performance so this is basically it 
and uh, what you guys need to do right now is just simply close this and uh, restart your PC. Okay guys, another thing I want to show you is this little pack I found. So basically, I found this pack from a guy named Lee Stripes. So I will leave a link to his uh, channel down in the description also. Huge shout out to him. So basically guys, let me just... Oh shit bro. I... Okay, so basically what I was mentioning is that... <clears throat> what you need to do is just simply open it obviously. The first thing that we need to cover right now are the stretch resolutions. As you guys know, almost every single pro uses stretch resolutions. And what stretch resolutions do is that they actually stretch your resolution. Huh, who would have guessed? So now, jokes aside, they actually do help you a lot when we're talking about FPS. They really, really help you. And one stretch resolution I would highly advise you guys to do and that most pros use is 1720 by 1080. So basically, let's say you have a little bit more low tire pc and you have you're struggling a lot, a lot with your fps i would advise you to do something like 1024 by uh, uh, six, uh 768 my bad and what you need to do is just simply copy this and uh, let me show you how to actually put this in so just copy this and i uh, go over here and press press uh, the windows button plus r and i uh, type in percent app data percent and just simply open that now next thing we need to do is just i'm just gonna expand this and i'm gonna come right here on the uh, app data and i'll just simply click on local now we need to locate app fortnite games my bad and click on save right here click on config and click on windows client so basically all we need to do right now is just simply what you need to do is just copy this okay just copy this and just paste it right here and as you guys can see <clears throat> if you actually want to change your resolution just click on replace the file in the destination i don't want to do that yet because i am good with my fps and i don't really like stretch resolutions so i'm just going to skip this and there's one more step you guys need to implement to actually get your stretch resolution to work you just obviously open the nvidia control panel right here and uh, let me show you what to do from here now on so basically go over here and let's say you select the 7020 by 1080 what you need to do just click over here on customize and uh, click on create custom resolution and let's do 7020 by 1080 so that is basically and just click on test and i don't want to do that right now so i'll just click on cancel and it should be right here so make sure you take this and uh, you go back and it should be right here and i just click on apply and now we should be in stretch resolution all right guys the next steps are pretty self-explanatory all right guys so this has been today's video and i can see that my fps has been a little bit more increased i'm not even gonna lie to you guys because at the start of the video i was running about 200 and around 40 fps now it's now it's getting up to like 250 and 60 so i can indeed indeed agree that this actually works and one little tip i want to sneak in is that closing your uh, running background apps actually helps you too so let me show you how to actually do that also so basically what you need to do is just click on your windows button and go over here on this little arrow and uh, basically disable everything you guys don't use for example on your discord and this is literally just disable anything you guys don't use and uh, you should be able to run everything smoother and also play on performance mode which i'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of and uh it's been your boy chopper i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always have a great rest of your day and peace out y'all